Our top story tonight, LAPD officer is looking at prison time after being charged with smuggling. Yeah, investigators say he was caught at a border checkpoint in San Diego County trying to bring two undocumented people into the country. Tonight, KCALINE's Tina Patel has details. The LAPD says they have put the officer on administrative leave at home. He's not here now, but we did talk to several neighbors who say they can't believe that he would be involved in something like this. Mambasi Patara, an officer with LAPD's South Traffic Division, has found himself on the other side of the law, facing federal charges that he tried to illegally smuggle two men into the country from Mexico. Neighbors say it's hard to believe the allegations. I heard what happened and I'm really shocked. And they've always just been a really nice family ever since my husband and I have lived here. I don't believe that he's doing that. I, I don't believe at all that he's he would be capable of even doing something like that. Gabby Reyes says Patara and his family have lived in the neighborhood for years and she considers them friends. But the 42 year old was arrested after being stopped at a border checkpoint early Tuesday morning. According to the complaint from the Department of Justice, Patara immediately stated he is a United States citizen and off duty police officer and showed a Los Angeles Police Department identification card. Patara appeared to be nervous and was visibly shaken. That's why border agents asked Patara and his two passengers to pull over. Although Patara told agents that those two men were United States citizens. Fermin Lopez and his nephew, German Ramirez Gonzalez, eventually admitted that they were in the country illegally. One of them saying they had known Patara for years and worked for him at his Fontana home. He said they had decided to go to a casino in Alpine, then another one in Campo, before ending up at the border checkpoint near Pine Valley. Neighbors say they don't know if it's true that Patara knew the two men who were in his car, but say they're willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. And there's always multiple sides to every story, so I think that's important for everyone to keep in mind um, before jumping to conclusions on these types of things. We're told the officer had his LAPD pistol on his waistband when he was stopped. If he's convicted, he faces up to five years in prison. In Fontana, Tina Patel, KCAL 9 News.